Hi, I'm Nicola McKenzie, founder and mortgage advisor here at Dun & McCarthy Mortgages. And in today's video, I will be showing you or explaining how a student loan can affect your mortgage affordability. So if you have a student loan, then make sure that you stay tuned. Before we get into the detail of today's video, if you enjoy the content on this channel, then make sure that you subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you never miss any future uploads. And also, when the time comes for you to consider your mortgage or remortgage options to show support for this channel, then make sure that you head to dm.mortgage, our website, and book in for a free online mortgage appointment with a member of our fully qualified mortgage advice team. Now, student loans are not the same as normal debt. Since 1998, they don't appear on your credit history. Now, if you have a student loan, it's automatically going to be deducted from your salary, from your gross earnings before tax. If you're self-employed, it works slightly differently, but it's an automatic deduction if you are employed. Now, unlike other types of debt, you only have to pay back your student loan, obviously after you pass a certain income threshold. Now, if you started studying before the 1st of September 2012, then you'll start repaying the student loan once your earnings exceed £17,775 per year. If you started university after this date, then you'll need to start paying it back once you start earning in excess of £21,000 a year. Now, like I said, you pay back your student loans within your taxable income, just like you would tax or national insurance contributions. But what you have to bear in mind is that if you are considering taking out a mortgage, then the majority of lenders will factor in a student loan repayment because they're less concerned about, in most cases, the balance of the student loan, although they are still likely to ask you what the outstanding balance is, and that may affect your debt to income ratio, but I'll come on to that later. But ultimately, a student loan is deducted from your taxable income, and therefore that's going to reduce the amount of net income you have, so net income being after tax has been deducted, that's going to reduce how much of that's available in order for you to allocate towards a mortgage. And that's why lenders will take the student loan repayments into account. Now, it's not all doom and gloom if you have a student loan, don't worry, because you have to remember that the higher your income is, the higher the monthly payment becomes towards your student loan. So it is all relative to your income. But with that said, um, it really does depend on how much other debt you have as to whether or not it may or may not even have any impact on your mortgage affordability at all. So what I want to do, guys, is look at an example in practice of how a student loan can affect affordability. Now, you also just have to remember that the impact it's going to have is going to vary from lender to lender. Now, that figure is then reduced by um, lots of other factors. So a few to name what you've got in childcare costs, how many dependents you have, how long the mortgage will run for, what you have going out in loans, credit cards, all of these things will then determine the exact figure as to how much a bank might lend. But let's just look at a quick example. And this example is based on a annual salary of £40,000 before tax. And I'm basing it on a student loan amount of £24,521. So if you owed that amount on a student loan, you would roughly repay £111 a month from your salary. But I want to see how that would affect mortgage affordability in practice. So let's take a look. So now let's look at a quick affordability calculator. So this is a high street bank. Um, it's just for illustrative purposes though, so that's not really the point here. But let's look at how much this particular bank might lend me um, in this scenario without a student loan to start with, because then we can compare it to with and without. So let's say that I've got a 10% deposit, so the loan to value would be 90%. My mortgage or the mortgage I want to take out is £200,000 over a 25-year term. Let's say that I earn, I have got no dependents and I earn £40,000 before tax. And I have no debts, no student loan, nothing. So in that scenario, this particular bank might lend me a maximum of £170,000. Now, if I scroll down to the 
loan payment section. And like I said, a typical repayment on a loan of 24, just over 24,000 pounds of student loan debt, the monthly loan payments on that would work out to approximately 111 pounds a month. Notice how this particular bank doesn't ask me what the balance of the debt is because they're more concerned about the monthly repayments. Um, that's not to say that when I come to apply, they're not going to ask me the balance of the debt, but for the purposes of the affordability calculator, they just want to know what I'm repaying every month. So based on that repayment of £111, you can see how the figures are still unaffected. Okay, So even if I had a student loan in this particular example, by this particular lender's affordability calculations, they will not change and reduce the figure of how much they might lend to me. Um, a key point here actually just to point out, going a little bit off topic, but some banks will accelerate how much they might lend to somebody if you um, do a longer fixed rate period, because the longer you're fixed in, the more certainty that you have. So not all lenders do this, but some lenders will give slightly different affordability um, amounts based on how long you might be fixing into the mortgage product. As a viewer of this channel, I assume that you're considering purchasing a property in the near future. So it's important for you to know that DM Mortgages are an award-winning team of fully qualified mortgage brokers that provide advice to clients all over the UK. Now we spend countless hours making free content for YouTube and other social media platforms to help to give you guys sound and useful information to make sure that you're in the best position to make informed decisions. To support this channel, when the time comes for you to consider your mortgage options, we want you to book a free online mortgage appointment with a member of our fully qualified mortgage advice team. Because without your help and support, keeping this channel going simply isn't possible. Now, we search thousands of mortgage products from high street and specialist lenders to find the right deal for your circumstances. And we also provide a free will writing service to every DM client. So head over to dm.mortgage and book in for a free mortgage appointment when the time comes. And also make sure that you subscribe to this channel if you find the content useful. But for now, let's get back to the video. So let's say that I've got the student loan, plus I'm also paying £500 a month out in other loans. Now you can see that that doesn't affect how much this bank might lend to me if I was going for a five year fixed rate product. But if I was looking for a two year fixed rate product, then it would reduce the figure that this particular bank might lend and it would reduce that figure to 150,600 pounds from 170,000. Now, but ultimately I still might be able to borrow the same even with £500 a month in loans plus the £111 on my student loan. But again, if I do a slightly higher figure, so let's say that I've got £600 a month going out in loans plus the um, student loan of £111 a month. So that would be a total of £711 that I've got going out monthly in terms of commitments. And that then does start to reduce the figure. And that's irrespective of whether, whether I do a two year fixed rate product in this example, or a five year fixed rate product. So the point I'm trying to make is that your student loan payment may not have any impact on you at all in terms of mortgage affordability. And that's the same really as any debt because I often get asked, is it better to pay off all my debts in some circumstances, yes. In other instances, it doesn't have any impact at all because what the lender's looking at is your overall situation and the overall amount that you have going out in loans. So you can see in this example, the student loan, if that was my only commitment, wouldn't have had any impact at all. It's only when my total loan payments reached the point of um, in excess of the £611 a month that then the lender started reducing the amount that they would lend both on the two-year and the five-year fixed rate basis. So you have to bear in mind that a mortgage is based on your individual and overall, keyword there, overall situation. Because like I said, I often get people ask um, questions about 
specific parts of their situation and my response is always we need to look at the bigger picture because that's how lenders will assess you they're looking at your overall situation so that's really why as well it's really important when you are looking at taking out a mortgage that you don't make assumptions and that you get advice from us as the professionals because ultimately we're here to work with you and make sure that you're being put in the best possible position and being put in the best possible position that may mean paying off all your debts but it may mean that you're absolutely fine keeping the debt that you have outstanding and again we have many years of experience to help you to make those important sound financial decisions so that's why when you're ready to get your mortgage or when you're ready to start viewing properties or if you already have a mortgage and you're perhaps looking at reviewing and remortgaging then head to dm.mortgage and book in via our website for a free mortgage consultation with our fully qualified mortgage advice team because we'll search through thousands of mortgage deals, high street and specialist lenders to find the one that's right for you. And of course, if today's video has been useful, then make sure that you give it a thumbs up, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so that you never miss any future video uploads. And until next time, see you later.